Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris at Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. This solid rock that I'm laying on was once a liquid, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... What exactly is the rock cycle? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some plastic cups, some water, an igneous, a metamorphic, and a sandstone. Today, you are gonna get stone. St uh, stones. Ah, uh, son, you're gonna get some stones. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get some stones because I am gonna show you a wicked cool trick with rocks that's gonna totally blow your mind. So start by getting yourself one, two, three cups. Now you get a hold of one of these river rocks. I got mine at a river. Go figure. <laughs> and a piece of this marble. And no, I didn't get it from a marble bag. I got it from a bag of marble. And then get a hold of some of this pumice. And you're gonna place each of your rocks inside one of your cups. Okay, so to test if any of these rocks actually float, we have to get something for the rocks to float in. Water. <laughs> well, what do you think I was gonna say? No, taco meat. And that's why they don't make boats out of sandstone. Da! None of them want to float for me. Whoa! Now that is so wicked cool. It is a rock that actually floats in water. Now that is so wicked cool. You could say that it rocks. So, so, okay, so why does the pumice float in the water and, and the other two don't? And what exactly is the rock cycle anyway? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The rock cycle starts when magma is erupted from volcanoes, cools on the land to form igneous rock. Since all rock starts out this way, igneous rock is the most common rock covering the earth with two-thirds of the Earth's surface covered. When igneous rock cools quickly, it forms pumice, which traps bubbles of gas, such as carbon and nitrogen, within the rock. This is the reason why pumice rock floats on the surface of water. In fact, so much gas gets trapped in bubble form that newly erupted magma from under the oceans makes its way to the surface to form massive floating pumice islands. Since the Earth is made up of tectonic plates, some of these plates get forced under other plates, which get melted back down into magma to start the cycle all over again. Oftentimes, the rock cycle is oversimplified with this explanation, but in reality, this is only part of the rock cycle. Igneous sandstone and metamorphic rock can be eroded away to form sediment. Sandstone as well as igneous rock can be squeezed together with other rock layers to form metamorphic rock. When heated to high enough temperatures, igneous and metamorphic rock can be melted back down into magma. This continuous cycle of breaking down and reforming new rock is also considered part of the rock cycle. The rock cycle has been going on for billions of years since the Earth's formation four and a half billion years ago. So now you know more about the rock cycle. You know, floating a rock right at home is why science is so cool.